Hi, I'm Tamara Holder, and this is Sports Court. Joining me from Chicago today is the number one ranked WA fighter in the world, Fraz Okendo. Fraz, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Tamara, for having me. All right, I want to talk to you. They, this is supposed to be the biggest fight of maybe the century, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather in Vegas this weekend. Uh, I, I don't know really where to start with this because there's so many questions, but you have trained with fighters or with uh, the trainers in both camps. Can you tell us the differences? Yes. Me and Floyd go back, way back, 1993, when Floyd Mayweather was 16 years old. I was 19. We both won the National Golden Gloves together in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we've been knowing each other since then. Um, um, Manny Pacquiao, good, good guy. met him back in... Nine, uh, what was that, 2005 and six, and then um, Freddie Roach, who's also a trainer at that time, so we're stable mates. Very cool guy, very hard worker. Well, they're both definitely hard workers. I don't think anyone can doubt that. <laughs> Tell us, though, from the inside, you, you've trained with these trainers. What are the different styles? What are things that we're not seeing that the public is not seeing on social media? Well, Floyd Mayweather, he's a very defensive fighter. It's what we call the lost art, which a lot of people, you know, in boxing are aware of and the typical people don't, don't know, and he's a master of it. And Nate Jones, who also a 1996 Olympic teammate of Mayweather's and also my current trainer and Floyd Mayweather's assistant trainer, he's got that style of counterpunching, which is very successful, as you can see, with all those great fights and victories he had over De La Hoya, Alvarez, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And Pacquiao, you know, understands, very, very accurate puncher with punches and bunches, which he's knocked out fighters that Mayweather went the distance with. You know, Cotto, he knocked out Cotto, Ricky Han, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to be a very interesting fight. Now, the, the social media, <clears throat> I'm just really interested in this whole aspect because if you go to Twitter or Facebook, mm -hmm. their pages, they show them working out, uh, public workouts, and running out in the streets and getting people to run with them. Do you think that this is to their benefit? Does this, does this draw just to the hype of selling the ticket, or is this a distraction? No, it's natural. I mean, I do it myself personally when, when I train in Puerto Rico and Miami, Florida, and other great cities. It's, it's motivational for each fighter, especially mentally. Remember, boxing is... 80% mental, 20% you know physical. So therefore, stuff like that is very, very helpful for these fighters. All right. So uh, Mayweather, he's <clears throat> known as talking a lot of crap, a lot of smack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Muhammad Ali has reminded him, "Look, I'm I'm still the greatest of all time." Sugar Ray <laughs> Leonard. All of these guys are coming out and saying, "Listen, I'm the best." Who do you think is the best in this fight, and who do you think is going to win? I mean, Sugar Ray Robson, one of the all-time greats, pound for pound. But, you know, Mayweather's getting close in there. But anyway, um, these two fighters are very special fighters, very unique fighters. Um, Pacquiao, again, very aggressive, technical, punches and bunches, very strong fighters. Mayweather, very elusive, a uh, counter-puncher with decent power as well. And uh, what I've heard recently, he's gotten stronger, of course, with age like myself. Um, I gotta give it a pick and fight this time. I want to ask you a question though about about mm -hmm. Mayweather mm -hmm. that that is really important because uh, Keith Olbermann is mm -hmm. talking about boycotting the fight because he has a domestic violence record, and although this oh, isn't wow. directly related to the rate to the, to to the uh, the fight itself, do you think mm -hmm. that that the WBO should get involved and punish guys who are arrested and convicted outside of the ring? Well, he paid his his dues. He did his time. I don't think, you know, after all that he went through, it's adequate to suspend him or to punish him. During the time, right. yes, I mean, I agree they should start, you know, punishing. Just, you know, what's right, just like the NFL, NBA, et cetera, et cetera, which I agree with that. <clears throat> so I don't think you answered the question, Fries. Who do you think is going to win? You are <laughs> ranked number one. The number one WA fighter in the world needs to make a decision. Tell us. Man, I mean, I'm, 
you know, like I said, you know, I got history of both of them, known known them for very, very years before Fries, the su superstar Fries, status. The I got to give the edge. I got to get the edge because I'm a technical fighter myself, being a heavyweight. I'm a boxer. I got to get the edge to Floyd Mayweather. He's more technically sound. He's, he's agile and it's going to be tough for Mayweather, though, to, put, to pull it out. So I give the edge to Mayweather very close, but I give it to Mayweather. By knockout or TKO? <laughs> no, 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 far away from knockout. Pacquiao, you know, it's a possibility he could upset and d make history. So, therefore, I would not say knockout, but I give Mayweather a close edge and decision. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. This is huge, and I really appreciate your time. Sports Court is adjourned.